يا من أجبت دعاء نوح فانتصر وحملته في فلكك المشحون يا من أحال النار حول خليله روحا وريحا إن الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back for a few words Muharram day 9, 1442 and day 9 being the one day before Ashura the 10th of Muharram itself wherein Rasulullah sallallahu has advised us that we fast and if we fast we get all our entire year's sins forgiven and he, he sallallahu alayhi wasallam he said that if I were to live until next year I would fast one extra day uh, in order to distinguish himself from the Yahud and that one day, could, the ulama they say it could be the day before, it could be the day afterwards. Hence, we are participating and mashallah, what a marathon of um, fasting days there are in, ahead of us. So we have the 9th, we have the 10th, the Ashura day, we have the 11th, the ones who want to do after Ashura. On top of that, we also have the Ayam al bid the white days, which is the 13th, 14th, 15th of the month. On top of that, we have the Monday, the Sunnah fast, the Thursday, the Sunnah fast. And we have been encouraged to fast as much as possible in this month because this is the month where Rasulullah would fast more than any other month. So Alhamdulillah, this is here, the month is here, the time is now. Let's get cracking in the most sacred of the four months. MashaAllah. Now, one other thing I just wanted to highlight is that this uh, event normally gets overshadowed by some other event that took place in history. The reason why Rasulullah uh, fasted and the reason why he told the Sahaba to fast is because of the aspect of Musa salam, becoming victorious over Fir'aun. And on that specific day, there were other victories and other things happening in history, which we are not 100% sure, but the ulama have stated that on this day, on this particular day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said many blessings upon Muslims in the past, and because of that, this is what we do. And so it's a time of celebration, and it is be because of this that the Jews used to celebrate by fasting. They used to worship Allah, they used to fast an extra day, they used to be thankful towards Allah for that. And this fasting is a form of appreciation and towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that manner, the event that I'm talking about that overshadows um, this uh, event of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the event which is the unfortunate massacre and murder uh, of Hussein radiallahu anhu, who is the grand, uh, grandson of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this took place uh, after the demise of Rasulullah, after the de demise of many of the Sahaba, many of the senior Sahaba. He himself, it was a long story cut short, is um, he and his family members were brutally massacred. Uh, in the harshest of manners and this is a very very sad day for us to remember in history but the reason why we do Ashura is not because of Hussein radiallahu anhu's martyrdom not because of the massacre of Karbala not because of that that happened years and years after Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam. that happened many many years after the time of Abu Bakr passing away Umar passing away Uthman passing away uh, Ali radiallahu anhu passing away and then even Hassan radiallahu anhu he abdicated the Khilafah even after himself Muawiyah radiallahu anhu he himself passed away after all those years then happened this incident of the massacre of Karbala which is a very sad and uh, very um, sad event in our history, tragic event in our history. But that is not the reason why we do Ashura. Now, there are some people who actually say, no, we do Ashura because of this reason or that reason. Well, unfortunately, we don't take from those sources. We take from the sources of the Quran and the Sunnah and what our scholars have said. And on that day, there are many other um, superstitions and then there are many other traditions that have crept in. We don't participate in any of them unless the ulama and the, or, you know, who have stated to us the ulama that we trust wholeheartedly, they have told us what to do and what not to do, then we just refrain and we just reject and we stay away from anything that is uh, dubious, anything that has not um, got strong authenticity behind the actions of Rasulullah or the actions of the Sahaba. So this is something that inshallah we want to do because there's a massive difference between celebrating something because Allah gave victory to Musa uh, over so mourning 
uh, the death of someone who the tragic death of Hussein radiallahu anhu. Now the story of Hussein radiallahu anhu, this, will, this is very very important for us to understand where our history is and in line with modern politics is quite um, interesting and intriguing so that we learn from our history, we learn from others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that inshallah in the near future we may actually go over some of these lessons uh, that um, happened in the life of Hussein radiallahu anhu, particularly at the end of his life and surrounding the incident of Karbala, the massacre, and how he became a shaheed. And other than that, let's use these few days in the best of ways, reciting Quran, dua to Allah, adhkar, these are the best ways to utilize the time and remembering that the dua of the father and the mother for the children is accepted straight away. The dua of the oppressed is accepted straight away. The dua of the poor people has so much weight. That is why we should actually request the poor people to make dua for us, the pious to make dua for us. This is the time to actually ensure that we connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make those dua for the forthcoming year, those du'as for the forthcoming year accepted and becoming manifest in our actions, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan, make dua for me too. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.